Joel in Mary, Maryland. I don't know if that's an actual city or it's just he thinks Maryland is a merry place. <laughs> I don't know. I watched your video, How to Improve Vintage Speakers, and I want to recap my, audio, uh, my AR-14s, acoustic research. I'm going to say audio research, but no, that's acoustic research. With film, which looks very straightforward. You said, buy the best caps that I can afford. There are so many to choose from. I got a quote from Midwest Speakers for Solon P caps for a whopping total of $65, which frankly kind of sounds like peanuts to me. Is this a waste of time? I'm not looking for improvement necessarily, but at a minimum restoration to at least get back to the original sound. Cost is not as much an issue as there are just simply too many choices. When I looked at Mundorf, they had a bazillion levels of caps. Can you point me in the right direction? Well, yeah, I mean, Solon's are going to be okay. If you, I, I'll tell you this, a set of Solon film caps is going to be better than what you had in those acoustic research speakers in the first place. Pretty certain. I, I mean, I haven't looked at a, an AR speaker in years, but they didn't use the best components. So pretty much anything you put in there, especially if it's a film cap, is going to be better. But Mundorf is great. Um, you want to bring them back to their original value, but you don't want to, but money's no object. So I'm a little confused. I mean, if these were my speakers, I'd want to put in some really cool caps like Jupiter's uh, and just go for the gusto because you could probably make a pretty killer AR speaker. But, you know, I, I, I don't know what to tell you if you, if you don't want to do that. But in general, for those of you watching, the construction of the cap has a lot to do with the sound quality. So, for example, when we're buying film caps, the kind of film, Teflon, Mylar, um, all of that matters. And, and when you see caps becoming more expensive, um, usually it's because they're using a better dielectric. Mylar is cheap. Kapton is more expensive. Um, Teflon is really expensive, but it all sounds better. The, whether it's a metallized film or whether it's film and foil. So the cat's meow in a capacitor, in a film capacitor, is separate foil and separate film. The film being the, the, the dielectric that, uh, or, or I'm sorry, the, um, the insulating material. And is that right? Yeah. Yeah, because the, the, the metal is where the, the current goes and the film is the, the, the insulating uh, material in that. So those are all important. The cheapest film caps out there have what we call um, metallized mylar, okay? So metallized or any other substance. They just basically plate that uh, conductive uh, uh, metal onto the film and then they wind it up and the, the, the bigger the winds the, the, the more capacitance that you have so that's why the caps get bigger and all that and on expensive caps they have that, that, that conductor is a separate sheet a separate thin piece of like tin foil probably not made out of tin <laughs> and then a separate wind of the dielectric material, which would is the insulating material, which is that Teflon or whatever. So my favorite caps are um, separate film and foil using Teflon. Very, very expensive. So how much you want to spend and how much you want to go for, that's up to you. But those are some of the differences you'll find in film caps. And I do suggest, yeah, recap in those speakers. You bet. Bring new life into them and they'll be happy. And so will you. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Bye.